I just want to actually bring up something that um, Noam, Noam Silverdick said earlier about the cable committee fund. Because I know there's a lot of money in there, but do we know of any plan to maybe update the system that maybe we're still working on? Well, one of the things they did was, obviously when, when the school was here last year, last right. week, they talked about some of the plans that they have for their, mm -hmm. for their new the studio and stuff. But we've also asked, uh, the cable committee is, is working on a five-year plan to find out they can bring this studio up. A lot of the equipment we have here is originally when they purchased it. Uh, and it's been held with, together with baling wire and bubble gum. Uh, and they've done a great job at it. But there's some thoughts to bringing up some new technology, bringing up some more modern cameras. They have a new gentleman that's on the committee now that has a lot of history in uh, how to work, this, work these uh, uh, studios out. So I, I'd like to wait and see what they have to bring back. I know they're working on it dig diligently to bring that to us to see what there is for costs but to whether it's digitize it or however it is whatever they need to get it to the next level and with better sound you know we've had sound problems over the past they have a five year, they're working on a five-year plan now and I'd like to wait to see that comes back how long is it going to be before it comes back uh, I'll have to ask yeah because there's a lot of interest in this particular subject okay. there's a lot of talk going on um, and I'm not saying I feel one way or the other. I would like to hear what they have to say also. But um, I think that this, it's going to fit in very, uh, it's going to be important when the talk about the Warren articles mm -hmm. come along. So we'll need to have all the information we can have by that time. Right. And pe people should go and look at other towns' uh, cable TV stations, their local cable Absolutely. TV stations. A lot of them are very, very more uh, much more advanced than we are here the guys have done a super job with what they have a super job what they have but the cable franchise fee supposedly goes to the cable station and that's what they're working on now of upgrading us to to match these other towns or if that's not what the people want then that, that that's a decision too but and the school also when they finish building the school will be coming back probably for more money yes. on their end on because they'll be expanding their operation I'd like to know if there's a definitive answer if you know it was done in the past that it was used to offset the tax base now is I know that because we've spent so much time many so through the years, I've spent a lot of time looking and talking to the different lawyers that represent us with uh, the contracts with the cable uh, company. Um, and is there anything that prevents us from using it as something to offset part of it to offset the taxes? Well, there was a question brought up by certain individuals in the community that the money is contributed by everybody who, who subscribes to the TV system and the money should be used for that purpose as opposed to subsidizing property taxes. Mm -hmm. And that apparently carried the day at town meeting and the town meeting voted to, in fact, can, to take all the funds and put them towards the cable TV system. Before that, uh, I believe it, we, we, a percentage, a substantial percentage, was dedicated to reducing property taxes. Wasn't it 60, 40? I think it was 60, 40 percent. Yes, yeah. that's how I remember it. Yeah. But, but then my feeling is you had, a, you had a certain percentage in town who subscribed to cable TV paying to reduce everybody's taxes. Mm -hmm. And was that, a, was that a fair? That was part of the complaint. Yeah. yeah. You know, so that's, I mean, it's, it's open for discussion. I would like to know if there's any e legal status well, we could, of we, how the government looks at it. We can certainly find what out. What are allowed to do with Just that somebody was listening. I was listening, yeah. Well, this is what, what we're doing is uh, we have uh, the new, new uh, gentleman, Rick, and he has extensive experience in TV, working for NASA for the last uh, 12 or so years, running their department, which is pretty vast. Uh, and we're, he's, we're working on a, a plan to upgrade the whole thing. We've been over to Bedford. We've been to Northampton. Uh, we've had a couple of uh, more vendors come in. So now I have three vendors, which is, and um, it's just it's just taking time. I mean, we don't have, we never did get a full uh, part-time guy. So, you know, we do it 
as we can. I work full time. Well, that time. could be part of your plan if that really fits well, into Well, yeah, it. we just can't find anybody. Nobody yeah. wants, I guess everybody's busy. Can't find anybody that wants to work part time, 20, you know, 20 hours a week. So do you think you're going to have any um, uh, estimates by the time the I would, article derby starts? Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. He's working hard on it. It's basically Rick doing it because he's, 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 he knows so much more than I ever did on it. So, And we're very fortunate because I'd be lost without him, to tell you the truth. And he's and he's doing it like, like he was saying. It's a five-year plan, but we're trying to do a studio that will be good for ten years. So you'll just be – it'll be all new. It'll be – Easy to operate for anybody to come in, can be easily trained, and would be good for 10 years. So all you have to do is maintenance. And after that, what you want to do with all the money, it's, it's up to you. But if you want to cut it now, I mean, if they cut it now, I mean, that goes down the drain. We're back to where we are now. And, you know, if we go back to the 40%, trying to feed this and the school, it just can't be done. Because mm -hmm. the school's going to want a studio over there. Mm -hmm. And if you want that, that's. If that's what the town wants and that's what the people want, that's fine. But it's, well, just, it's just, you know, the uh, you know, just, we're going to have to look at it. Well, I know what people, you know, well, where's all this? We have all this money spent. Well, I'm just not going to, I can't just spend the money to spend it, you know, just to say, just blow money. I mean, we're trying to, it's not going to be a cheap, cheap uh, upgrade. You know, it's going to be all high def. Now, granted, we won't put out high def. We will stream high def. And you can go to YouTube and, and, and stuff like that and watch in high def. But you'll get a much better picture, yeah. and we'll eliminate all the uh, ins and outs. I mean, Rick has shown me where why our our, uh, our our picture is not as good as a lot of you know even people who are still we're digital, but we keep we go from this to this back up to here to here to here and then we go out. <clears throat> Whereas other com other like Bedford goes in and out. So they they don't have all this degradation of their uh, their picture being degraded every time it uh, gets uh, downgraded and upgraded or whatever. So I mean we just I, I we're going as fast as we can, you know, and and it's and he's doing as much as he can to get all the facts and figures and do it right, mm -hmm. you know. But he's got he's also used to, you know, NASA figures, so he's got to go down to. You know, town figures. You know, small town figures. So he's he's working it out and and going and you know going to see other studios. Bedford's probably the one of the better ones in the state, and uh, you know and then there's Concord and stuff. And we plan on going to see their their operation, get uh, ideas from them. So, but uh, we're going to try to get it before the uh, all the Warren articles and stuff. Well, but, after watching it for the last 12 years, I will tell you know, be, it's really changed a lot. And yeah. the whole thing has been in transition the whole time. Yeah. Well, and, we've never had uh, money. I mean, this is like a, when we got that month, that was just like, wow. We went from, okay, we'll have enough to sustain what we're doing to 100%. So we're like, we're caught off guard with that. So, so and, and like, again, not having a part-time person, that's what that person would be doing, was doing all this research. And so now we have people doing it in the evenings and such. So. Well, we're very fortunate to have you, your brother, all the other guys that are back there. There's a lot of them, yeah. and we appreciate it. Well, we're losing more and more, so we're getting down there. Yeah. So that might be something that we have to address. We do also. have to address that, too. There's a lot we that have to address. part of the final, the, a better plan. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Brad. Your ears were burning, huh? <clears throat>